Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of The Bio Dude. So you can check out my website, thebiodude.com. Subscribe to me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And today I'm going to talk about your Terrafauna Bioactive setup, how to maintain it, um, as well as you know things that you should look out for as far as cleaning and things as far as concerned. So, my, uh, my handmade Terrafauna is available in two different sizes. My first is my 6 quart size, which is about 1.5 gallons. And then I have my 36 quart size uh, right here, which are the nice, the nice large bags. And then on top of it, as far as additions that you can use to make the soil function more properly, as well as help put more nutrients into the soil, first thing is my BioShot, or excuse me, my BioShot, my AAA sphagnum moss. And what I like to do with the sphagnum moss is put it, uh, put about half of the bag and mix it in with the fauna. So that way it helps create air pockets as well as create nutrition for a substrate as it breaks down, providing food for your cleanup crews and your bio shot, um, as well as helping your plants uh, root a little bit better. And of course, uh, you can put a little bit on the top to help raise your ambient humidity levels in the terrarium itself. And then of course, here's your staple leaf litter, which you use uh, to break down to provide fuel for your terrarium. Some additional things that you can use are my southern palm bark and my cork pieces. Uh, your bugs, my bugs absolutely love them. You know, your springtails and isopods. What it does is they uh, break down and provide food for your, uh, for, uh, for your substrate. Um, and another thing that's nice about the cork is that, uh, especially for the BioShot, this will pretty much become a microbial sponge that just sits in the soil and just keeps emitting positive, uh, positive bacteria and funguses when used with the BioShot because it acts as a great catalyst. That goes for your uh, cork bark pieces in your terrarium as well at the base layer that are touching the substrate. If you mix this in with your substrate, it can really help jumpstart your, your bioactivity. So, as you can see what I have in front of me, I have an 18 by 18 by 24 uh, my crested gecko that has been in here for a long time. So I, went, I did not clean or do anything with this. So you can see a little bit of feces that are up here by the feeding ledge that the, the bugs have not gotten to. So that is something that this week, um, you know, we will be cleaning. But the, the rest of the terrarium itself has been set up for over a year and it has not ever been cleaned whatsoever. You can see I have a drainage layer, which should always equivalent, equivalent to about one, one to you know two inches, depending on how deep you want it to be. In my opinion, with this type of setup with the terrafauna, you don't need more than an inch and a half. Um, and then you have the terrafauna right up top here with some sphag moss. In this terrarium, of course, I have the bio shot as well as the springtails and isopods for my bioactive drivers. Um, there's a lot of creeping fig growing in here with some, uh, uh, with some uh, uh, dragon wing uh, begonias, which I'll be selling some of this stuff really soon. There's some ferns and some other cool stuff. With that being said, the overall maintenance with this terrarium is that it gets misted twice a day for 45 seconds at a time. So it's misted for a total of 90 seconds a day. Um, and that is to help keep the ambient humidity the level that you want it to be for your crested gecko, as well as the proper water ratios for your terra fauna. You can see that this tank has been set up and there's not a lot of water at the drainage layer. It's only up to about here, which is great for a tank that's been set up for a year while maintaining the 60% humidity, the 70% humidity spikes throughout the day that these animals require. And what, what, that, what that tells you is that the, the fauna is good because it's aerating. It means it's not getting water clogged and pocketing all this bad bacteria. Um, so with the misting, as far as cleaning and breaking down, you know, I will clean the sides of the glass, places that the bugs are not able to reach, such as this ledge and things like that, you know, I'll disinfect and clean. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it as far as your, as your maintenance is concerned. Um, don't really have any issues with, you know, feces or anything like that building up. So again, guys, uh, this is for the, the, the Terrafauna BioDude Substrate. And of course, you can check out my website. Uh, check me out on social media and do the bites.